Hello everyone, here is Ricardo and this is the first video of a series of small tutorials that I'm going to prepare just to help you to use Vaio and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to import data into Vaio. That's the first step to use the, the software and there are different ways you can do that. So the first way you will have to drag and drop the file import step into the process editor. You can double click the step to open the window. Here you can open files or even folders. Suppose you have a lot of different files inside one folder. You can drop the whole folder here and it will import all the data files inside the folder. So for instance, let's select few files and here you can see at each file the first date and the last date so if there is any gap inside this file you won't be able to see that here only the first and the last date you can delete just as an example In this window, you can also drag and drop files and folders. It's the same. And you can arrange by data coverage or by name. Let's, for instance, drag the whole folder. So it will pop up a window asking for you to choose file type. And inside a folder, you can have many different files that are not wing data so you can collapse those the interpretation window and the and also the wing data file window so you can focus on what you want so here you have the folder you just dragged and all the files inside it and again you could just drag files here and it will create an import file step and if you already have a step you can like for instance here you can drag files inside that step and it will open the step and add those files in the same step another thing very important is that sometimes the software cannot detect properly decimal separator, the delimiter, the, the header rows, first data row. So you can define all those parameters here in that window. You can apply to all files or just to one file. Now we want to see if the program correctly infer what each column represents. So, of course, we can change whatever we want, the statistics, the units, and even the colors, the label that the variable will have. And you can open that uh, window here, and you can see the histogram of the first 1,000 data. So it's like a sample. You won't see the whole data just because of performance. And you'll see the minimum, the mean, and the maximum of those 1000 values and if you, you can open here also to see the, the actual data in a transposed way so that's the, the data itself and you can see here in, in light blue what was detected as header and the software will use those values to try to infer the, the type and statistics so if you want them not to use or to force the use of a specific row you can change it here and you can ask for the software to infer again using the, the configuration that you have just set. So it will infer again. Okay, another very important thing is that sometimes the, it's difficult to infer the, the date format. So here you can change the date format if it's not inferred correctly. You can choose from here, but you can also use those letters if you, know, if you understand what do they mean. 
just write the letters representing the date format. Once we're done configuring the data, you can save the template <coughs> so it will always be shown here. If you have saved and you want to delete the template, you can just delete them right from here. So in that file, for example, I already added in my favorites, so you can just click here and the template will be loaded. It's very useful if you work with the same MatMast to set very carefully those parameters and labels and you can add that to your favorites so you won't need to do that again in, in that case I already saved one that has the colors the main wing speed colors red and another one blue it's very useful when you want to compare them in the same graphics here in this button is the feedback so here you can rate this step this module so that we from Vio can know if it, if it is already okay or if there's uh, room to improve you can leave your comments here. If you find any bugs, you can click here and you will be directed to our bug tracking system where you can log a bug so we will be able to treat them. When you want to change multiple columns at the same time, for instance, if you don't want to import those columns, you can select them all and right click and disable. So it's very easy to change it. And also if you want for instance to change the height, imagine that it is you want 81. So one thing you can do is to change one of them, select all the columns that you want to change and click in that one, and that's the right one, and you want this value to the other rows. I don't want to change so I just got the template I used before. Also I can double click in the name and change the name of the step and I can press apply. Okay now I have the data imported into Vio. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.